My name's Leo Quinones, and we, together, are going to go over this week's hottest movie releases. This one surprised me like no other. Mirror, mirror. As in mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? That's right. Snow White gets a reboot. The reviews are stellar. It's funny. It's edgy. You got Army Hammer, the prince. Of course, he's the new Lone Ranger, but that's not till next year. You have Lily Collins as Snow White. Of course, she's the daughter of pop star Phil Collins. And then going from a pretty woman to the evil queen, Julia Roberts. It's delicious. Take a bite. Our Snow White is about a young girl um, who has been locked away in the castle by her wicked stepmother, played by the awesome Julia Roberts. And um, she starts out as very much the fairy tale princess that everyone grew up loving and, and knowing. Very innocent, not knowing anything bad or negative going on in the kingdom. And um, her fairy tale godmother esque figure, Baker Margaret, enlightens her and tells her that everything is not as it seems and she really needs to go out and regain her kingdom and just go experience things because she's been locked away. And she goes out on this adventure, sees the, the village and sees what has been turned, what it has been turned into because of the wicked stepmother taking over and she realizes she needs to take control and through her journeys of meeting the seven dwarves who really turn out to be somewhat of, of mentors to her. They teach her about empowering herself and um, you know, believing in oneself and she really fights for her, her own kingdom and to gain it back and in the end she turns into a, a young woman who has fallen in love in the process of winning her kingdom back and she turns into a fighter which is in some ways different than the original fairy tale because she really takes on many battles, sword fights uh, and she's modernized in a way where in this story, the princess almost saves the prince at the end instead of the prince saving the princess, so. That's a look at Mirror Mirror. But what about the guys? What about action? What about blood, guts? What about Wrath of the Titans? That's right, Sam Worthington returns as Theseus, and also you got Liam Neeson as Zeus. So the gods are angry, the gods are coming back. But here's an interesting note. Sam Worthington told me, point blank, Leo, I'm not happy with my performance in the first film, Clash of the Titans, so I'm back and I'm going to do a better job. This one I thought, well, we've just got to push it bigger and make these kind of the dynamics of this whole world, this whole universe, much more crazier and massive. I think that's what they're kind of designing. You know, it always has been a struggle, which I've kind of liked to deal with with the character, which is, you know, people just want to have a normal life and do normal things, but if you're destined for bigger and greater things, that responsibility not only kind of can affect the way you see the world, but it definitely affects you know, just in this case, your son and how he sees the world. After coming out of Wrath of the Titans, you're going to want to eat a steak raw. It's that violent. Good luck with that. If you have any questions about movies, hit me up. Send me an email, leo at filmfreak.com. You can check out all my reviews at filmfreak.com, podcasts, whatever you need. I'm here for you and movies, and I'll see you next time. Airplane.